Hi, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Today is Monday. I like to think it's about five o'clock now. Just come to Asda so I can collect to collect. And I need to take off the back of Primark. So yeah, I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so I'm in Asda. I just need to go and collect a parcel. And the big parcel machine here, so that's what I'm gonna do. So my order isn't in the machine. Gotta wait for a person to come bring it down, so hopefully it won't be too long. So I've just come into traffic to get some food, some dinner, because I'm starving. Just got a case of soup, and then I'm gonna bit this. I'm gonna quickly go to Lush, and then I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so my next stop is gonna be Lush. I just need to pick up a couple of bath bombs. Hi, so now it's a bit later. I'm back from the shop. Everyone else is in bed. Uh, I didn't really buy much. I just bought a few bath bombs from Lush. Didn't buy anything from Asda. Uh, just took, just picked up my parcels. And I took a dress back to Primark. It was the Port, I don't know if I showed you last week. Maybe it was a couple of weeks ago actually. I bought a Paw Patrol dress for Alice. But she said she didn't want to wear it. So I just took it back. Uh, didn't, didn't buy anything um, from Primark or anything. Just some bath bombs from Lush with some Christmas money. So I thought I'd just show you those. So these are the three bath bombs I bought. So I bought Sweet Pudding, Snow Fairy and Snow Drift. So I'll get them out and show you what they look like. So these are the bath bombs. So this one is uh, Sweet Pudding. I've never had this one before. I liked all the different colours and it's got a bit of sparkle in it, so it smells nice as well. So I've got that one, got this one, looks very wintry, and that one's Snowdrift. And of course I have to pick up Snow Fairy, that's one of my favourite ones. And yeah, picked up those three. So obviously bath bombs are quite expensive, so I tend to only get Lush bath bombs for like Christmas and birthdays, because they're just so expensive. Um... I think this one, these came to about £15 for these three. So yeah, quite a lot, but I got them with some Christmas money. So yeah, I am going to head to bed now and I will get back to you tomorrow. Hi, today is Tuesday. It is currently just coming up to 10 o'clock. I suddenly went to school, just straight up the mouth and then I quickly nipped to the shop. Picked up a few more Christmas bits because our house does not look Christmassy at all. Um, all our red and green baubles for the tree seem to have either broken or disappeared. So I've bought some more. Our tree just looks... I just don't like our tree. So I've bought some more baubles. Hopefully that'll make it look a bit better. Um, so my task for today while the kids are at school are, is to finish decorating the house with our Christmas decorations. Uh, try and do a bit of editing. And then tonight I'm going to Chester to the Story House Theatre to see snow queen i'm so excited um it has the kit tickets have been gifted uh, i'm going to do a review of the show so i'll do a review um video for that which hopefully will be out the next day so wednesday so it should be already up hopefully and yes i'm really excited and go with my brother-in-law nathan which is good he's going to drive us there so i don't have to get the train or anything so yeah it should be a fun evening and yeah so i'm gonna um have a drink and i'm gonna sort out all this stuff and set it up in hi so i can't remember if i got back to you once i got back from the shop but i've been back for a while now leo is home here he is oh there he is playing on his tablet alice is due home in about half an hour but i bought some new christmas decorations i think i told you i can't remember got some new christmas ones there's some more in there so we're gonna try put them on our tree because like i said our tree looks pretty rubbish I'm just no good at doing trees, um, but Alice and Leo's tree look nice, so I'm going to have, have another go at this, see if we can get it to look a bit better with some baubles, so that's what I'm going to do now. Hi, it is now 
now four o'clock. I'm just about to have a quick shower because I need to start getting ready to go out now because my, my brother-in-law is picking up at quarter past five. So yeah, I've got an hour to get showered, get something to eat and uh, head out to the theatre. So I'm going to get back to you now when I'm ready. excited to see what the view's like from up here which we've never sat up here before strobes. Ooh, some strobe lighting oh, let me just find my uh... oh, look it's raised oh wow it's d10 and 11 so this is the view from our seats so they've completely changed the theatre from the way it was last time we were here. So we're actually in the circle, but it's like you're in the stalls, isn't it, Nathan? Mm. Here's Nathan here. No. Here he um, is. Yeah, it feels like we're. It's, it feels like a completely different theatre. Yeah. Last time. It just feels so different. It's amazing how they can change the theatre around so much. It just looks so different. But yeah, it's like we're in a di completely different venue. But I'm really looking forward to it. It looks really good. This is our view from the stage. So we're in circle, row D, C, 10 and 11, did I say? Hmm? We 10 and 11? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seats 10 and 11. So this is a really good view. Wasn't expecting such a good view. Mm. So yeah, we'll probably get back to you now at the interval. Uh, let you know what we think. Um, so yeah, 
Hi, so I'm now back from the theatre. Everyone else is in bed. I'm literally just going to put my videos onto my computer and then I'm going to head to bed. So I'll get back to you tomorrow. The show was great, by the way. Really enjoyed it. Hi, so today is Friday. It's actually about half five now and I am about to head out. Yeah. Um, sorry I didn't film anything yesterday. I'm full of a cold at the minute and all I did yesterday, I think we, we made some gifts for Alice's teachers yesterday. So we did that and me and Leo played some games and we decorated the tree a little bit and that's all we did. Still not finished the tree, still got some decorations to put on it. but. That's all we did yesterday. But yeah, I'm going out to the pantomime tonight, the one at Manchester Opera House. No one else has come with me, I'm going my own. Uh, we couldn't afford to take all the, ki the kids to two shows and they chose Room on the Broom, which is more expensive than the pantomime. Because the cheapest tickets for the for the cheapest tickets for the pantomime were £13. The cheapest tickets for Room on the Broom were £21. So yeah, they decided they wanted to see Room on the Broom. And then I looked yesterday online and they reduced all the single seat tickets. £13 so I'm actually sat on row C I'm like right at the front I think they're usually about £40 on tickets so I thought you know what I'm just gonna go for a night out I got some Christmas money off my nana I thought you know what I'm gonna go to the pantomime because I enjoy pantomimes um, Lawrence isn't that keen on pantomimes so yeah I'm gonna go go now have a nice night out Lawrence is looking after the kids he's off today and yeah so I'm gonna head out now it starts at seven it's half five now gives me about an hour or so to get there and film stuff that I want to film so I'll probably get back to you now when I am at the theatre. Uh, I'm just about to leave now, got my hat on, got a scarf on and I've got gloves because it is freezing out there tonight so yeah gonna head off for the tram now I'll get back to you once I'm at the theatre. So it's now 10 past 6, just got off the tram at St Peter's Square, I probably should have got off at Dean's Gate but I always forget. I'm just going to walk up to the first now, should get there for about half 6, probably about 20 past to be honest. And yeah, we'll get back to us there. There's a big giant Santa and then here's the bee and the Christmas tree. <laughs> just going to walk up now. So I've just arrived at the Opera House now. It's just behind me here. I think it's about 20 past six, so I'm gonna go up and head it out. I'm just in the theatre now, I think it is, yeah, just gone half six, so I think I'm going to go and find my seat, and I'll show you where I'm sat, so I'm in the stalls, I'm on row C, just check, 
first CC 29 set. Let's go find it. I have got a program as well. Got a program. Yeah, let's go find my seat. My seat now, ready for the show. I think it's about 14 now, something like that. The view is so good, you can't believe I only paid 13 pounds for this ticket. So looking forward to show starting now. So I'll just show you what the view's like from my seat. So this is my view from my seat, really good. And then this is the leg room, so loads of leg room as well. So, really good seat. back from the theatre I've been back for a while actually um, everyone else is in bed and the show was really good I really enjoyed it I'm so glad that I actually went uh, it was so funny um, definitely recommend it if you can get to see the pantomime because it was hilarious it was really really good um, I'm just gonna do a bit of editing now and then I'm gonna head to bed so I'll get back to you tomorrow hi today is sunday i don't think i filmed anything yesterday we're all full of a cold yesterday not great so we just rested most of yesterday today however we're up early because we're off to see room in the broom at the lowry uh the kids have been waiting to see this for months alice is so excited aren't you alice yeah she's super excited it starts at half ten it's nine now we're gonna head out get the tram so i'll get back to you now once we're at the show Just at the Palm Dock Station now, we're just waiting for our next tram, which is in eight minutes. Where is it going? Oh. It's going to the airport. To airplanes.
So we've just arrived at the Lowry. Now we've got about half an hour till the show starts. So I'm just yeah. going to have a look around. They've got lots of nice Christmas trees. I'm going to go and look at Christmas trees and maybe look at the little yeah, shop there, uh, before the show starts. So are you very excited for the it's show? Alice? I love like hiding. Yeah. Good job. So we're just waiting for the, for the auditorium to open. Yeah, so they're just looking at these little programs that they get. So they get these little souvenir programs included. So it just has some information in it. So got the cast in it. And it tells you about some of the other shows. Oh, so that's going on a UK tour, April to July 23. And that's on a UK tour as well. Uh -huh. May to September. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh. Well, after, Leah would love to probably see that one. Can't we? No. So, yeah, the Smeds and the Smear are on a UK tour, and so is the Snail and the Whale. So, we're going to have to look that up and see where they're coming to because Leah really likes the Smed and the Smear. <laughs> it's got like a little thing on the back for them to do, so. They're happily looking at that while we wait for it to open, aren't you? Yeah. Now we can look at the nice view out the window of Media City. There we go. So the cloakroom where we usually use the pram isn't open. Um, I think because it's only in a small theatre, so we're just going to leave it here. I think they said that's fine. Yeah. Just waiting for it to open now. So we're in our seats now, we're on the second tier, the seats 55 to 56 to 758. The view's not great from these seats, um, me and Lawrence can see, I don't think the kids can see anything. We might have to sit them on our knees so we can see. Um, but for me it's an alright view, I think Lawrence is alright, just not for the children. <laughs> So like, this is my view. Obviously I'm much taller. If you go down to where Alice is and sit back, this is her view. She can't see. And Leo definitely can't see. So I think I'm gonna have to sit on my knee so that she can see.
is that day. So we're just gonna go in here and get some lunch. And get some lunch. So we've just come to the Lowry, Lowry Outlet Mall now to get something to eat because we're all starving. And I think it's 12 o'clock now. The show was really good, really enjoyed it. Um, they could see if we sat on our knees, so she wasn't too bad, they could see. And um, yeah, we both enjoyed it, so it was good. Oh. Yeah. Did you enjoy the show? Yeah. Yeah, did you see the witch? Yeah. And the cat? Cat. And the dog? Dog. And the bird? Cat. And the frog? Cat. Wow. And were they on the broomstick? Yeah. yeah. And was there a dragon? And did they, did they get on the broomstick and did they say, whoosh? Hey. Yeah. You also, whoosh. Did they go? <laughs> yeah. So we just went to Burger King, we just got some nuggets to share and some chips. So we're just heading home now. We were gonna have a quick look around the market but it's raining. So we're just gonna go straight home. Hi, so we are now back home. Um, the show was really good. The kids really enjoyed it, actually. Um, I think I said while I was there, if they actually sat in the seat, they couldn't see anything. So Leo had to sit on Lawrence's knee and Alice had to sit on my knee. We had to lean forward. So I would never pick those seats again for children. For adults, it's not too bad because you can lean forward and you can see. Uh, but the fact that those seats were the exact same price for the ones at the bottom, um, I think they need to reduce the top seats, really. Um, but I suppose if they can sell them, they're not going to reduce them, are they? So, yeah, definitely want to sit there with the kids again. But we didn't really have a choice because I had to wait to find out Lawrence's schedule before we could book them, and then they were the only ones that were left. But the kids really enjoyed it, so that's good. So they thought it was good. So we definitely recommend the show because it was really good. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do with the rest of the day. We're full of a cold, all of us, so probably just gonna rest. Lawrence is actually on a night shift tonight, so what he's saying he's not gonna go to bed, he's just gonna work through. But anyway, we're home now and I thought we might as well open our advent the advent calendars because we're not do we haven't done very well with these <laughs> keeping up with the days. I've even got mine out from the loft so we've we've been long time we've had an advent calendar this year, which is a shame. But what day is it today? The eighteenth, so let's see. Where's the eighteenth? Oh they didn't open yesterday either. We vote for the 18th. I know. So I think they've got yesterday's and today's. Today. Oh, and the day before's. And the 15th. Oh, I can't remember when the last day they've done this. Let me see. I remember number 14. Uh, yeah, they've done 14. So 15, 16, 17, 18. They've got four days to open. Right, Leo? Let's open your calendar, your toilet calendar. You've got four days to open. 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 Right, let's open them together. Oh no, five. Right, you've got number 14, which is there. Uh, oh, you've opened 14, so it's 15. Number 15. That one. That one there, Alice. Yeah. That one. Get in. Oh, it's Marshall. You get the chocolate out. Well, I'm gonna help you, Leo. Wait a second. Ooh. What chocolate did you get? Get this. One. What is it? Let's see. It's a, is it a penguin. Yay! Yeah, a little penguin. And it says, what time? What did it say? Ten sleeps to go. Right, Leo's go. Here, Leo. Ten. Number 15. Ten. So, oh, where is it? It's, uh, it's the same place where Alice's was. Here. Number 15. Let's oh. open it, Leo. And who's on it? It's Peppa and Mummy Pig and George. And what's your chocolate? Get it out. Get it. Oh. There it is. It's a penguin chocolate. Oh, is that yummy? You eat it. Oh, right. I'm gonna 
open the rest with them now and we'll get back to you later. Hi, so I don't think I actually got back to you once we got back from the theatre. It's much later now, the kids are in bed. Lawrence has actually gone to work, she's on a night shift tonight. So, yeah, it's much later. We haven't really done much since we got back though. I did some editing, Lauren's played with the kids. And that's about all we did, but um, they both absolutely loved the show. Alice was so excited to go this morning. She's been waiting to see it, I think, since summer when we saw the poster for it. And yeah, she absolutely loved it. So it's really nice to see them enjoying themselves. Definitely worth the money when you see them enjoy themselves. Um, so yeah, definitely re recommend it if you've got kids Alice and Leo's age, because everyone really enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, it's on until, I think it's the 7th of January, something like that. So yeah, if you live local, uh, definitely check it out if you've got kids their age. Anyway, I am going to do a little bit of editing now and then head to bed. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed this week's weekend vlog. I don't think I've filmed that much this week. We've just been so busy. Plus we've both all been a bit ill as well this week. So yeah, I'm not sure how much I've actually filmed. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you ha I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously next week is Christmas week. So we're going to be super busy next week. I am going to uh, a press night on Tuesday for Oceans at the End of the Lane at the Lowry. So that should be really fun. Lawrence is going to come with me. Um... I say on the like day out we've got planned next week and it's just getting the house ready for Christmas I've still not finished the tree not put the tree up in my craft room I was determined to get that done this year I've just not got around to it the whole house needs to clean in and tidy in so it's going to be a very busy week next week um so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this week if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again next week bye